And who can forget the star of everything, Miss Piff, Her Royal Majesty herself. I remembered that I was looking at the two videos I posted of her, and I noticed I left something really important out. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I don't do care videos because, you know, I I don't feel comfortable giving advice, but I will show you things that, you know, these guys <laughs> absolutely need. Yes, ma'am. Um, first of all, obviously, hides, like most other reptiles, they're gonna need to hide. Um, decorations. We actually pick these up when we would go to the river and we'd like wash them, bake them, you know, do that whole process. So like you can get, that's cheap. That's free. Um, the little plywood thing. Which, when we first got these little plywood, I say plywood, uh, <laughs> driftwood, um, it's so crazy because just like one, like say that little piece, her whole body fit on. And now like you see, big chunker there has two of them and you know, she, she's like hanging off the side back here. But yes, so I've shown her before, haven't shown most important things. I watched a bunch of uh, Bearded Dragon videos yesterday which it was the TikTok side of Bearded Dragon, so you never know what you're gonna find on there. But anyway, so they do need a basking lamp. This has a special basking bulb in there. They also need a UVB bulb. This part is extremely important and it's kind of hard for me to back up, but Piff's is actually mounted inside of her tank. Um, I know someone quite clever who can, you know, like do awesome things like this for me, uh, which is nice. So they have to have this UV bulb. I believe this is a 10, uh, if it's, I'm pretty sure it's a 10, um, at least like eight hours a day of the sunlight. At night, Heating lamp, oh, uh, excuse me, basking lamp switches off, UVB light switches on, or off. We have them on timers, so it's, you know, the same every day. And then this bad boy comes on. This is a ceramic heat emitter. This is what you would use for them at night because it still puts out the heat, but there is no light. So, that's my little thing about that. And it, it took me... To be honest, she's she's the first um, reptile I've had in a long time that has needed UVB. So I really had to do a lot of research on it, and something that seemed so easy actually <laughs> kind of stressed me out. But I'm I'm just that way. I want you know I want I want them to have what they need. Um, obviously. This is yesterday's breakfast. I, it's not even 8 o'clock here yet, so I'm going to get her her breakfast. But they have to eat um, greens every single day. Every single day they have to eat greens. Um, I give her, I think that is a mustard green. She likes mustard greens or collard greens. Um, she's a southern girl. She... <laughs> she um, Red bell peppers are probably her favorite. If I put, I could put a whole buffet of stuff into her morning salad and she would just pick the red peppers out, not even touch anything else. So, and mix it up with like sweet potato. She's had a piece of, uh, a little piece of banana for a treat. Only do that for them when they are full grown. From what I read, you should only give them fruit when they're full grown and only like, I don't remember, so that's something you'd have to research. But it's not something they get every day because it can actually um, have a negative effect on their um, uh, their bodies. <laughs> so, there you go. There's Miss Piff. 
She um, She's getting ready to go to Mississippi with us when we go visit home on the 17th. That's another thing. <laughs> Um, unless you have someone to come over and take care of your dragon or depending on what reptiles you have, obviously you should have a backup plan, but you know, with, with, um, Miss Toki down here, the, the Velociraptor and with, uh, Pepper, I, and yes, Pepper also has a UVB. That's something that I never, um... I've heard people say they used it for leopard gecko tanks. I had never been one to use it, and um, but when I took her to the vet to see about her eye, the vet was actually the one that we're gonna get her a background too. It looks so plain, bless her heart. But um, so yeah, the vet suggested a UVB light, and this is we just have a simple coil one right now. Um, until, you know, we can either get a longer one or, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to add, you know, I'll ask the vet, I need to call them anyway and see, you know, if it needs to be, because I, there's still things I don't know. I, I think if you're a reptile, yeah, all right, you, you just knocked your calcium, got to knock that calcium dish over. Yeah, I see you, I see your thing. That poor baby's eye. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. She can actually open it now. I gotta get that skin off her nose today. And yeah, so that's that's kind of about it. But yeah, what I was saying, um, for vacation, I can give Pepper, you know, like I can feed her. Well, I mean, obviously, I feed her a few times a week anyway, but I kind of bump it up a little bit. And we're mainly gone just a week. Um, we don't have anyone that can really, <laughs> well, we have neighbors that would come over and, you know, like they, they misted Toki before I got her misting system in place. And I'll still, we'll still have to have them come over and, you know, turn the mister on for her. But like for her, I will feed her, you know, a whole lot. And then, you know, so I basically get them fed up where <laughs> Toki's always fed up with me. Where Piff, because she has to eat every single day, she gets to come with us, which is actually kind of fun. She she's because she's obviously part of the family. My uh, I'm hoping that one day my my little nephew he's six or well, he'll be six or so get brave enough to hold her. I don't I don't think that he's scared to hold her. It's just, I don't know if you've ever felt a bearded dragon, but they are. As you can see, like, she's she's kind of spiky, but it's not bad. Like, most of the spikes you see are, are pretty soft. Um, yeah, we'll mess with you. Like, you know, like the, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Like, these are, these are a little more rigid. And if you, you know, if you feel, I don't know if you can hear that nice scratchy sound, but they're kind of rough through here. But it's nothing, you know. Yes, the spikes on their sides are actually really soft. They kind of remind me of um, iguana spikes. <laughs> you are just something else. You know it. You something else. And then some. Boop, 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 boop. Guys, if I would have known that bearded dragons were this awesome, I would have had one years and years ago. <laughs> I love, I love, I love them all equally. Even, even Toki that hates me, but I, I, it's definitely a tie between who's the most calm, Piff or. Pepper the leopard gecko. So. Alright, well this video is already almost 10 minutes long. I swear I'm getting back to gaming soon, guys. Um, I'm letting someone borrow my headset right now, so I don't have it. <laughs> I will get it back um, by the end of the week for sure. 
and start back on <laughs> yes and then start back on um, Hellblade and I'm gonna start playing Mad Father and I'm thinking about uh, a couple of games I could maybe do like live to eventually get a uh, live stream set up so yeah that's what's uh good <laughs> my dog just walked by and licked my heel he is a blue healer Heh, <laughs> bad joke anyway all right piff say bye bye you are just not having it this morning okay bye bye piff bye bye piff tell everyone on youtube you'll see them later say see you later please like and subscribe